dear students welcome to the lecture series on the topic engineering graphics today we are going to discuss about projections of the oblique planes i am dr ips ahuja professor department of mechanical engineering punjabi university patiala so an oblique plane is the one which is inclined to both horizontal plane as well as the vertical plane now let us go through the statement a regular hexagonal lamina of 25 mm side has its surface inclined at 30 degree to the vertical plane and one side parallel to and 20 mm in front of the vertical plane the side is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal plane we are required to draw the projections of this lamina now after going through the statement of this problem we have evaluated that this is a plane which happens to be inclined to vertical plane first of all and thereafter it is inclined to the horizontal plane so since the first inclination of this plane lies with the vertical plane so to begin with we will assume that this hexagonal lamina is parallel to the vertical plane and since this hexagonal lamina we are assuming it to be parallel to the vertical plane so its front view will be drawn on the vertical plane and this front view will be representing the true shape of the lamina so this thing we have understood the and another thing this front view will be drawn now above the xy horizontal line because it is lying in the vertical plane now before we start drawing the front view as well as the top view of this hexagonal lamina we need to understand how do we locate this hexagonal lamina above the xy reference line so there can be two orientations into which we can locate this hexagonal lamina above the xy reference line so first orientation can be this one and the second orientation can be this one so let us say i pick up this orientation first of all so if i pick up this orientation and let us say this is the orientation of the or this is the position of the lamina above the horizontal plane now i am provided with the statement that this regular hexagonal lamina of 25 mm side has its surface inclined at 30 degree to the vertical plane so it means that if the hexagon is positioned like this i have to lift this corner or i have to lift this corner of the edge view that is if i have to lift this with respect to corner with respect to the vertical plane then i have to go through this particular point that one side of the lamina is parallel to and 20 mm away in front of vp now if i am going to lift this if i am going to move this corner forward that is the edge view corner forward over here with respect to vp in that case i am going to find that this complete lamina will be inclined to the vertical plane and since this lamina will be inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 30 degree none of the edges that is none of the six edges of this lamina will be parallel to the vertical plane so not even a single edge will be there which will be parallel to the vertical plane whereas if i choose this location this position of the lamina let us see what is going to happen so if i orient my hexagon lamina into this position then whatever edge view is obtained from the top now the edge view i am going to lift in front basically i am going to pull this out in front of vp so one of the corners of the edge view once i pull it out what will happen this edge will still remain in its position that is it will be parallel to the vertical plane and it will be still 20 mm in front of the vertical plane whereas this edge will also be parallel to the vertical plane because this edge has been pulled out in front of vp because of this angle of inclination that is 30 degree to the vertical plane so its distance from the vertical plane will increase but still 
this edge will also remain parallel to the vertical plane so after going through the statement and observing both of these orientations i have worked out that this orientation cannot be worked upon because if i am going to pull this corner forward then none of the edges of this lamina will remain parallel to the vertical plane so that is why we are going to pick up this particular orientation of the lamina now let us start drawing the projections of the lamina so first of all draw the xy line so in the front view you see we need to start drawing this hexagonal lamina into this orientation but this orientation you can work out only when you read out this particular statement over there that is it is also given to you that this one side is parallel to and it is 20 mm in front of vp so whenever we draw the top view we will find that this top view will be located 20 mm below this xy line otherwise rest of the things you can draw as you like so after drawing this hexagonal lamina into this orientation and we need to do the marking of the different points so a dash b dash so all the corners will be marked so a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash so all the edges of the hexagon they have been marked and since we have assumed that this hexagonal lamina to begin with it is parallel to the vertical plane so its projection on the vertical plane that is its front view a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash it will represent the true shape of this hexagonal lamina now having drawn the true shape of the lamina above the xy line that is in our vertical plane in the front view now we need to draw the top view of this lamina which will be an edge view now why this will be edge view because the lamina happens to be perpendicular to the horizontal plane and since the lamina happens to be perpendicular to the horizontal plane its projection on the horizontal plane will be an edge view but another thing you need to remember this edge this is at a distance of 20 mm that is this particular edge this is 20 mm in front of the vertical plane so a b wherever that is to be located this distance will be 20 mm so first you mark this 20 mm only then you will be able to draw the projections of this lamina in the top view so the top view provides you with the edge view whereas the front view which we are drawn in the first instance provides us with the true shape of this lamina now having drawn this top view now we can do one thing we need to extend this <coughs> plan projection line so that this edge ab should remain at a distance of 20 mm from the vertical plane in front of the vertical plane so just see i have extended this plan projection line now i need to do the rotation because i have already told you first view will be the true shape second view is the edge view and the third view is rotation or the translation so here <coughs> in order to rotate this view i need to locate these three point point number 1 which corresponds to ab point number 2 which corresponds to f and c point number 3 which corresponds to e and d so point number 1 will be marked here point number 2 will be marked here and point number 3 will be marked here so this length of the edge view we are going to mark and accordingly these three points we are going to mark over here in order to locate the projections of all these three points over here so just see the three projections they have been marked that is one projection corresponding to a1 b1 second corresponding to f1 c1 and the third projection corresponding to e1 d1 so having plotted these points in the top view now we need to obtain the fourth view which is going to be our corresponding view so the corresponding view will be obtained when we draw projectors up upwards from the all the points which are available in this edge view and the horizontal projectors will be drawn from the previous figure of your elevation so let us see how do we locate all these points so projector of a and b you see they are lying on this vertical line 
whereas projector of a dash lies here so this gives us pro pro projection of a1 dash similarly here we obtain projection of b1 dash likewise point c and f they are lying along this vertical projector so f dash lies here so this gives us point f1 dash over here and point c dash lies here so the horizontal projector of c1 provides us with the location of the point c1 dash similarly e and d e1 and d1 projectors take them above and e dash projector lies here so the horizontal component of this wherever it intersects with the vertical projector line provides us with the value of or the location of e1 dash and similarly d1 dash has been located and once all these points they are located so we can join all these edges over here that is a b c d e f so a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash e1 dash and f1 dash will be joined and after joining we clearly observe that this is the apparent shape of the hexagonal lamina why because this shape is smaller than this one so in this shape even though we have said that this is the apparent shape but all the dimensions they are not apparent a1 dash b1 dash it is still parallel to the vertical plane so this is the true length of this edge similarly e1 dash and d1 dash even though it has been moved away from the vertical plane little bit because of this angle of inclination of 30 degree but still this is parallel to the vertical plane and any edge which is parallel to the vertical plane its projection onto that plane will provide us with the true length so a1 dash b1 dash is the true length e1 dash d1 dash is the true length but b1 dash c1 dash as well as c1 dash d1 dash similarly a1 dash f1 dash and the edge f1 dash e1 dash so all these four edges they have become shortened so because of the shortening of these four edges we have been able to obtain the apparent shape of the hexagonal lamina in our step number four now after this it is provided to us that the side which is parallel to and 20 mm in front of vp which is that side a1 dash b1 dash you can see a1 dash b1 dash is the side which is 20 millimeter in front of vp and this is still parallel to the vertical plane so this side now we are talking about so this side is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal plane now we need to transfer this figure because in the earlier discussions also we have said that the step number five is our rotation or translation so this figure we need to rotate and shift it over here at an angle of 45 degree so please see we'll draw a horizontal locus line of 45 degree angle so this is the 45 degree angle and then we have to relocate this figure we redraw this figure with a1 dash and b1 dash lying over here because it is this edge that we are talking about the edge a1 dash and b1 dash which is still parallel to vp even this edge is also parallel to vp but this edge is not at a, at a distance of 20 millimeter from vp so we have to talk about this edge a b so a1 dash and b1 dash is the edge which is still parallel to vp and still it is at a distance of 20 millimeter in front of vp so this edge we are required to locate here so let us see how we can go about plotting this point over here using rectilinear distances so just see i have plotted this and now i will explain you how i have been able to plot all these points right from here to this particular position so please see you need to mark this distance this distance with the help of number of points over here mark this point as point number one point number two point number three and point number four so measure this length and mark one point second point third point and fourth point and similarly onto this line locus line of 45 degree angle i am going to mark these four point point number one point number two point number three and point number four so just see from point number one and point number four the vertical distance of point f1 dash and c1 dash which is equal it is equal to this much 
सो फ्रॉम पॉइंट वन एंड फोर मैयर दिस वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस एंड प्लॉट इट ओवर हेयर सो वंस यू प्लॉट दिस वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम पॉइंट नंबर वन एंड पॉइंट नंबर फोर यू गेट द लोकेशन ऑफ पॉइंट एफ टू डैश एंड सी टू डैश ओवर हेयर सो ओनली वन डिस्टेंस वी है मैय बट सिंस दिस डिस्टेंस ऑफ पॉइंट एफ वन डैश फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट एंड सी वन डैश फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट इज सेम सो सेम डिस्टेंस इज गोइंग टू गिव अस टू पॉइंट दैट इज सी टू डैश एंड एफ टू डैश सिमिलरली फ्रॉम पॉइंट नंबर फोर एंड पॉइंट सॉरी पॉइंट नंबर टू एंड पॉइंट नंबर थ्री दैट वी हैड मार्क्ड ऑन दिस लाइन सो पॉइंट नंबर टू वॉज हेयर पॉइंट नंबर थ्री वॉज मार्क्ड हेयर अगेन distance of a1 dash and e1 dash is equal to distance of b1 dash and d1 dash so from points 2 and 4 measure the distance between a1 dash and e1 dash and plot this distance over here and similar distance over here so having marked these two points you will be able to transfer entire figure using rectilinear distances from this position to this position now you can mark these points as a2 dash b2 dash C2 dash, D2 dash, E2 dash, and F2 dash. So having located this figure with respect to horizontal plane at an angle of 45 degree, now the front view has been obtained. So after obtaining the front view of this lamina, now in step number six, we have to obtain the corresponding view of the lamina. That is, we now the, these projector lines, reference lines, we have. taken out because they were only required to transfer these distances over here in a rectilinear manner so th these have been erased now this is the true length this is also the true length now i will be bringing all the six projectors from front view to the lower view and similarly from the previous view all the plan projector lines they will be drawn horizontally so they will be projected horizontally now we have got this grid so within this grid we are going to find out the corresponding point so just see this is a i'll bring it down so a lies here this will give me location of a similarly this is b this is also b so this gives me location of b this is the location of c and here lies my c1 so here i get the point c similarly i have this point as d this one and d lies here so this is the location of my point d similarly i have my point e over here i'll bring this down and e point locus line horizontal is this one this gives me location of my point e and finally f point this is the vertical locus line for the point f point f1 lies here so this gives me the location of the point f so this way you see a b c d e and f all these points they have been located so a2 b2 c2 d2 e2 f2 have been located now only thing i need to do is join all these points to reveal the final top view position or the coordinates of the projections of this lamina so this is the projection of the lamina in the front view this is the projection of the oblique lamina in the top view so i hope with this discussion you have been able to understand how to draw the projections of the oblique lamina which is inclined to both hp and vp so we will continue with the further discussion on this topic in the subsequent lectures as well thank you very much thanks a lot